want you to run to the front right now and just face me. Just line up right now. If you want the presence of God on your life, just come to the front right here, right now. Just run to the front. Run to the front. Run to the front. And just stay there for a moment. If you want the presence of God on your life, you want the fire of God, you want the hunger for God, you may say, Jeremy, I don't believe God exists. Well, he believes you exist. He loves you. He calls. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence. Father, right now, I thank you for Marshawn. God, I thank you for his heart. Lord, I pray tonight you put a burning hunger, a burning passion, that he even feels it right now in the pit of his belly. Let him feel the fire of God right now. Powerfully, powerfully. Thank you, Holy Spirit. How many want more of God tonight? Come on. How many want more of God tonight? It's okay to be loud in this place. How many want more of God tonight? Come on. How many want more of God tonight? Who cares about who's next to you? Who cares what people think? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? Thank you, Holy Spirit. On the count of three, I just want to say I love you, God. Just as loud, on the count of three, just as loud as you can. Who cares who's next to you? Just on the count of three, just scream, I love you, God. One, two, three. I love you, God. Yeah, that's the passion right there. That's the fire right there. See, that same thing you just did, do it on a daily basis. Crave the presence of God. Get into the Bible and say, God, make me who you want me to become. God, let me feel you. God, use me. God, speak to me. God, give me a new hunger. Father, in this moment, would you fall on every person? Boom, right now. Inside of every part of them. Holy Spirit, would you flow through this room and touch? To some of you, God's healing your hearts right now. Some of you, God's healing your hearts right now. Some of you go to all the wrong sources for your satisfaction to get over that heartbreak. Some of you go to all these things to feel better. But God says, I will become your fulfillment tonight. I will heal your heart tonight. Just hold hands with you. I just feel that from God. I pray for God. I know I don't know you at all, but that's what God knows. Father, I pray you bless this couple. I don't know them. Never met them until this moment. But I pray, God, you bless this relationship individually and together. And Father, I pray that even, this is crazy, you got a fire on your shirt. Bro, this is crazy. Father, even as there's fire on his shirt, make both of them fall in love with you. Make both of them on fire for you. May they be a couple that brings Jesus to many. I know you may have came here so you thought by accident or you may have wondered, I don't know what I'm getting into tonight. But God says, I love you both and I have a great purpose for you both. So Father, just raise your hands, both of you, if you would, to God, if that's okay. And if it's not okay, just do it anyways. <laughs> Father, tonight, inside of both of them, would you give them a brand new hunger, a brand new fire, a brand new desire to go to church, to seek you, to pursue you, to find you, to hear your voice. And God, at this age that they're at right now, would you mark them and would you allow them to feel your presence? <laughs> Put your hands one more moment. We'll be down in just a second. Lift your hands one more time. Just close your eyes. I want you to just think about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Just picture them in your mind right now. Just think about them. Forget about the troubles of life. Forget about where you're at. Just think about them. And in your own words, it doesn't have to be loud. Just mean it. Just say, God, I love you. Just tell him what he means to you. Tell him, thank you for bringing you here tonight. Tell him, thank you for giving you life. Whatever you want to say, just say it right now. Because when you let praise out, the Holy Spirit begins to fill the room with his presence. So in your own words, just envision God and tell him you want to know that he's real. Tell him you want to experience him. If you want to cry out, cry out. I don't care what you do. But show God a different level of your heart tonight. Show him that you're passionate. Show him that you want to experience him. I don't care what it takes, but get out of your comfort zone and tell God that you love him. You love him. Tell him you love him. Come on, just let him hear you a little bit. Just let him hear you. I promise we'll be done in a second. Just tell God that you love him. Because he's not done working yet tonight. He's not done. He's not done working. <sighs> Holy Spirit, would you fill this room? Just show them how real you are. Put a new fire inside of them tonight. <sighs> Father, let everyone that is here tonight leave completely changed. Completely changed. Completely changed. My man, what's your name in the green shirt? Man. Oh, my, I'm sorry, bro. I, I'm going to get to you. I'm going to get to you too, bro. Don't worry. I will after I did. I'm sorry. I was... God put him on my heart. 
Malachi. That's a sweet name. Bro, there's a lot of Bible names here in the house tonight, man. I feel like I'm being set up. Malachi. Come here, man. I'm going to pray for you later because I feel bad that I called you. Man, I was, about to, I was about to close in prayer. And God told me to pray for him last before I ended. How old are you, man? 19. 19. You're Mike, man. You got that voice. 19. What do you want from God, man? I don't know you. I don't know your story. What do you want? If you could ask God for anything right now, what would you ask him for? If he was in front of you right now, bro, what would you say? Wow. Wow. That's awesome, man. See, what's amazing is that you asked for somebody else. It shows me you have an amazing heart. I want you to do something, man. Just close your eyes. Lift your hands to God. I'm just going to pray for you, man. Whatever God puts on my heart for you. It's great to meet you, man, by the way. Father, tonight touch Malachi in a special way. Father, let him know that it's not because of a man or a church. Let him know it's simply yet beautifully because of you that he can feel you and experience you. And even as he has a heart on this necklace, see, because it's crazy how God does things on purpose. Father, show him that only you can fulfill the heart. Show him that only you can touch. God, let your fire absolutely touch every part of his body. Even like you touched me at the age of 19 in my room that night. Touch him even stronger than you did me in that moment. Would you do it right now in Jesus' name? Would you set him on fire with your very presence? Would you touch him tangibly right now? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. God, show him how much you love him. Show him that you created him for great and amazing things. In Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody give the Lord a hand clap of praise tonight.